Shalom, brothers and sisters. So again, so much news happening in the world. I, for one, can't even keep up. I'm trying my best. Uh, if you check the community wall on a daily basis, I'm posting all the storms, natural disasters and chaos happening with the world so that you can keep track of them there. And then from there, you can Google them further and get into those stories in detail to see the earth and creation literally groaning at this stage of the game. So, so late is the hour. So that's where we put all of that. And then all the other news, we have to try and filter and figure out what to share because there is so much happening because the clock on end times is literally spinning. And Israel being the center of that, there's so much happening in Israel at the moment that it is crazy. And it all points to Jesus is coming soon. Now this story that I want to share with you today, again, just shows you all the connections of evil coming together so in your face right now. They've got a AI security robot that they're unveiling as pioneering a new era of protection. The security robot that's always on duty. Its eyes never close, a focus that never wavers. It has multiple cameras all over and they've called it Athena. Developed by the folks at Cody Robots, Athena is like the superhero of surveillance robots. Athena is equipped with four 18x zoom cameras providing extensive surveillance capabilities. It's got thermal imaging technology, detects temperatures ranging from 50 all the way to 1022 degrees Fahrenheit wide angle. It ensures Athena can accurately identify heat signatures immediately at a distance. Um, what sets Athena apart, this is the scarier piece, is its AI-based detection technology. So it's driven with AI. The smart system minimizes false alarms. It allows security teams to focus on real threats. It is watching you as well and everything. It is listening. It is everywhere. And it's roaming around your business or home all the time. Perfect for the new world order, right? For control. Now, the interesting thing here that I want you to realize as well, that people generally look over these days with names. Names are important. Athena, in Greek religion, the city protectress, goddess of war, handicraft, and practical reason, identified by the Romans with Minerva. She was essentially urban and civilized, the antithesis in many respects of Artemis, the goddess of the outdoors. So it's named after a Greek goddess. The qualities <laughs> that lead to victory, they say, if you go look up this goddess, are found on the aegis or the breastplate that Athena wears when she goes to war. Now on her breastplate, the qualities that she has on her aegis is fear, strife, defense, and assault. That's her qualities. Fear, strife, defense, and assault. I also have a breastplate. It is called the breastplate of righteousness. Darkness and light are opposed in every single way. And we see this more and more every day in front of us just being unveiled. As this kingdom shifts to this final kingdom that wants to rise and be in control and will be destroyed by Jesus Christ. Now, last little interesting thing I'll leave with you on this story is Lady Liberty, your Statue of Liberty, isn't just an abstract personification of freedom. Early American art makes it clear that she is the Greek Athena or the Roman Minerva. So is it really any surprise that they would call this AI robot that they developed that is going to be rolled out everywhere Athena? Since they've had Athena watching over everyone there for a while. Interesting times when you start noticing the evil more clearly and realize how long it's been entrenched and all around you and now is becoming more and more acceptable in the days of Lot and Noah that we're living in. But the exciting thing is, Harpazo, rapture, is at the door. At any moment, in the twinkling of an eye, you'll hear the sound of the shofar, and we will be flying.
Keep running your race. Keep being faithful. Keep seeking to be righteous in the eyes of God. Keep diving deep into the word of God. Keep working on that relationship with the Holy Spirit. And keep following Jesus, the water walker. Shalom.